So in terms of the, the investment component of it, we, there's really two sides, right? So number one, we, we do invest in the companies. Mm -hmm. um, they're not, it's, not a fixed, it's not a fixed deal the way it might be with uh, Techstars or YC. It's a lot more flexibility. We have Those people have the take it or leave it approach. Yeah, we, we're we taking 6%, 7% for 120 grand. Yeah. Yeah, no, these are companies who have come in. There are, they've already done Series A investments it's, and sometimes. Right. So, so you can't have that. You can't have those same terms. No, the people, would ha the people would have to approve it or pay it a different yeah. valuation. It's a little bit complicated. Yeah, yeah. And, and, we, and that's what we do. I mean, we, 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 tend to, we, we, we tend to write small checks, 100, up, maybe up to 500. By the way, that's a nice check size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 it's not small. Right. And then, and then, <laughs> small uh, is 25. Yeah. 10, so, so 15. yeah, and that's and that's basically as far as we go. Like okay. we don't we don't have we don't we won't do bigger investments. And that's in RGA's that. money. That's, that's not some other hidden person's money or nope. That's right. That's RGA's money, RGA's. which is actually uh, technically IPG's money, which right. is the holding company. Right. So, and then, so what do we get out of it? Like, what's like you mentioned Disney, and what, what are their real motivations for doing it? Well, two things. Like, one is, yeah, we're investing in these companies, so we want them to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, we want them to, we want to, we want them to come out of the program working with us, like more valuable, more with sure. with better traction, better, de more deals. So increase their smarter. share value, the enterprise yep. value, mm -hmm. based, yep. and you would have invested earlier, so you yep. see your shares go up based yep. on the hundred or five hundred. That's a good reason. And that's a good reason. Yeah. And then good the other for everybody. Yeah. And then the other side of it is, uh, so so you mentioned services. We don't charge them for the service mm -hmm. not like what? they come in and Free. No, no that's we, part of, we that's, give them we give them a set number of hours oh. right so so it's a couple it's, hundred hours yeah something like yep. that it's not it's not unlimited we we do track it mm -hmm. but in the amount of time that we give the startups we could actually do a lot of work in terms of branding messaging prototyping design work so that is an investment that rj makes in the companies we look at the money investment as one thing we look at the creative capital as another type of investment but then also like Nick mentioned before, we're connecting these clients, these startups with our clients. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these startups, when they come in, they don't have access to the head of innovation at you know Samsung, company at Google, Samsung or Nike. Google or Nike. So what we're doing is we're trying to create these partnership arrangements where some of these startups may have conversations with these brands, and because of the conversations, they're going to leave the program with a potential pilot. And ah, for a startup, nice. that's an amazing thing to get sure. out of a program. Yeah, when you want to get other investors involved, and you say I got Samsung or Nike or Google doing a pilot, yum yum. That's gonna get. That's gonna go far. Absolutely. Um, so, what what do the startups tell you is the most valuable thing that you provide on the services front? So, what service is it? Because, you know, when I think of an agency, I'm like, yeah, a TV commercial, banner ads, a microsite. I don't know what you're providing, or is it the building of the product, the UX that they value most? Yeah. Or is it like some sort of growth, buying ads, and that kind of component? What, what do they love? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit it's hard. It's all those things. It's all those things. <laughs> it, it's hard to pinpoint because when these startups come into the program, they all have different needs. They're at different stages of their development. So when they come into the program, we have an assessment meeting with each of the startups, and we figure out exactly what they need. And then we put together these bespoke uh, teams to work with them. Uh, one of the more surprising things that I learned about when these startups came in was that this, a lot of these startups need copywriting help. They Fascinating. Don't, they don't have copywriters on staff, and when they have to tell their message to investors, to the public, they just don't know how to describe themselves in a way where it's tangible and digestible by... Right. They can't write a sentence. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It's Writing is a lost art. It's a right. lost art. Hey, everybody. Let me take a moment to tell you about Cricut shirts. I have some Cricut shirts. I got them. I bought them. I paid for them myself. And my God, these are beautiful. They're stylish. And they're, they're like those very uh, dapper, very natty, elegant, chic, smart. What is it? Debonair? You just look good in these shirts. They're really good looking, like better than those polo shirts or golf shirts you've seen. Uh, but, you know, similar to like the Jack Nicholas or Arnold Palmer or JFK look. They're super soft and 100% certified organic cotton. And they are as comfortable at the 19th hole as the 18th, if you know what I mean. Not too baggy, not too skinny. They fit perfectly. And you can take the collar off to keep it crisp and new. No more bacon collar. Now, of course, they stand behind these shirts, so there's no hassle, free returns and exchanges. And as I told you, I, you know, they fit perfectly. And I've washed them like four or five times. I've been wearing them constantly. It's kind of like my go-to, like, lazy weekend shirt. But if I'm going out for a dinner, hey, I put a nice pair of jeans with them, and it works too. So they work great, and you're going to love them. Go ahead and get 20% off your special first purchase at cricketshirts.com slash twist. That's C-R-I-Q-U-E-T. C R 
I-Q-U-E-T. If you have a high IQ, you're going to get these shirts. Cricketshirts.com slash twist. They're amazing. And you want to wear them because you'll be so elegant and chic. You'll look great. Um, thanks again, Cricket Shirts. I love them. They're really, really, really smart looking. Nice job. Well done, guys and gals over there at Cricket Shirts. Cricketshirts.com slash twist. I really do love them. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 